Hey Ohana, today we are opening up collection three from Incantatus Illume. Welcome back Ohana, or if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Thomas and this is Stitches Ohana. So as I mentioned, today we are opening up collection three from Incantatus Illume. Now this is part of the Luxalume family, right? Which is the candle company. Um, they have the Disney side, which is the circa 1955 candles. Uh, those are Disney inspired scents. I will leave um, a link of some of my videos up there for you to check out. But this is their brand new section of Harry Potter inspired scents. And this is called Incantatus Illume. Now, I have already uh, unboxed collection one and collection two, and that basically takes you from the start of book one all the way to platform nine and three quarters. So collection three is all about the train ride to Hogwarts. So without further ado, let's get into this box. Now, I did pre-cut the box uh, there's nothing really special about the packaging box. It's just your plain uh, cardboard box. And when you open it, this is what I'm seeing. So I have four packages, four parcels from uh, Professor Nicole herself. And there's some um, bubble wrap there. I see a, a card um, and I'm kind of surprised. Usually, usually there's three packages, you know, Three candles per, usually each collection has nine, so I'm curious what is in this fourth package. So, let's remove the bubble wrap, and oh my gosh, we have some snacks in here from the trolley. <gasps> oh my gosh, okay. First, let's do the card. So, right off you have the Luxalume candle care card and safety, you know, don't leave candles unattended. Trim your wicks so you don't get a lot of sparks. And then, you know, you wanna burn your candles for a couple hours when you first get them lit to make sure you have a nice even burn so you don't have that like wall on the edge of wax that you just can't get rid of. You know, you wanna burn it for a few hours to kind of take that down and melt it and so you have a nice consistent burn. We have the card from Hogwarts, it says Thomas, and one little uh, touch she does on each package and card, she has a wax seal. I love that detail. I love the wax seal. It's such a cool, clever little idea. I love it so much. And then these, these letters usually come with kind of like introduction to what the candles, each candle is gonna be, as well as a, um, a thank you card. So. I'm right, we do have some cards out here that are candle descriptors, but let's read this. It says, Greetings, wizard. Your pewter candle cauldrons are herein enclosed. Incantatus illume means enchanted light. May the aromas and light within the cauldrons bring the magic of the wizarding world to your space. More to come soon. Now I have talked to Nicole about this. She has a huge plan for this line and I cannot wait. I'm so excited because Disney is a big fan of mine, but Harry Potter is a huge fan of mine as well. So I'm so happy that, that Luxalume and Nicole and her team, they have the Disney side circa, they have the Harry Potter side and Cantatus Lume. Best of both worlds. And if I have not mentioned it yet in this video, I've mentioned it in other videos, but I am now a brand rep for Lexalume. I am so honored to be a brand rep for this company. I love candles so much, and you know, you know how much I love candles. Candles are a big part of my, my channel. And to be a brand rep for this company is so important to me because Nicole and her team have been Ohana to me and this channel from day one, basically. So um, I do have a special code for you, my Ohana. 
make sure you use Ohana15 at checkout to get 15% off your entire purchase. Okay, back to the card. It says, hey there, Thomas. We really hope you enjoyed this next round of scents in the series. Thanks a ton for your all your support. Blessings, Nicole. I am super excited for this. Okay, so we do have some sweet treats here from the snack cart. It says, I really hope these did not melt. Um, it is summer and unfortunately this box sat outside for a while, for a few hours because I worked late. Um, but we have London to Hogwarts. It's a platform nine and three quarters ticket, but it is a milk chocolate bar with crisp rice. That is my favorite style to eat uh, chocolate is with the crisp rice. We have a mini Birdie Bots Every Flavor Bean. And I think, let's see, we have marshmallow, rotten egg, sausage, lemon, soap, tutti frutti, vomit, watermelon, earwax, earthworm, dirt, cinnamon, cherry, candy floss, booger, blueberry. So at the end of this, I will eat one and we'll see what I get. Okay, and then the last sweet treat we have is a chocolate frog. And each of these comes with a Famous Witch or Wizard card, so we will open that at the end as well. Now, whew, let's get into this, okay? So, we have one, two, three, four packages here to open. So I'm gonna put these off to the side, and we're gonna go one at a time. So, each one is the same. On the outside, it's got the um, twine there and it's got the wax seal and they're all the same color and it just says Alpost. Okay, so all of these are gonna be the same, but inside they're all different. Okay, so this box contains the um, candy cart kind of things, right? So this is like the sweet treat box, okay? And these are every flavor bean candles. One, two, three, okay? So before we go into what the, the scent profiles are, let's read the card. It says every flavor. You want to be careful with those. When they say every flavor, they mean every flavor. George reckons he had a bogey flavored once. That was Ron Weasley. <laughs> I hope my little British accent did it justice. Inspired though by those tricky Birdie Bots Every Flavor Bean, these candles are dual layered with two scents. Enjoy the fun blends. Okay, now in my last box, I did get a special release Birdie Bots and it was uh, like blackberry, I believe it was blackberry and vomit. Okay, so there was a good scent on top and then the yuck scent on the bottom. So um, it looks, by looking at these, it looks like it has the same. So I'm not sure if she did the good scent on top and the, the, the bad scent on the bottom on all of these, but let's just go ahead. Okay, so the first one we have, every flavor bean, we have green apple and peppa. Oh man. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm getting that real crisp, fresh, you know when you bite into a green apple, that like tartness that kind of like goes up your nose. <laughs> That's a weird way of explaining it, but I'm getting that scent that you get when you bite into a green apple for the first time. And then, <laughs> and then you, oh, that fresh tartness. And I don't know if it's my mind playing a trick on me because I know what the second scent is supposed to be. But I feel like I smell a little bit of pepper, but these are dual layered. So I feel like the pepper is below the green apple. So I shouldn't be able to smell it. So I think my mind's playing a trick on me. But that green apple is super summery, super fresh, super tart. Next, we have watermelon and soap. Oh, man. Okay, this just smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher, which is my favorite of the Jolly Ranchers. Watermelon. Oh, man. 
That is really, really good. I like that one a lot. And the last one of the Every Flavor Bean um, series is Blueberry and Dirt. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay, so when I first smelled it, you know the, um, the fruit Tootsie Pops? Like they have the cherry and the grape and everything. To me, it smelled like the grape Tootsie Pop. But now I'm smelling it a little bit more, kind of letting the scents go through my olfactory. I am getting that like blueberry side of a blueberry muffin, right? So I am getting blueberry, but I'm also getting like hints of that grape uh, Tootsie Pop. It's a really good scent because the grape Tootsie Pop is my favorite Tootsie Pop. I mean, these, all three of these are hitting like my favorite thing. So all three of those are really good. I want, I, I'm gonna, stop. My favorite scent of those three is the watermelon though. Okay, let's see. This one feels lighter. So I think that last box is Maybe something special. I think there was supposed to be a um, um, a limited release candle if you ordered on the first day this came out, uh, which I I did. So I feel like that last box is maybe that candle. Okay, same thing, same sticker, Incantata Zalume. Okay. Oh, we do have another box of semi sweet stuff, and then one character. Okay, so let me find the cards for those. Okay, so we do have one more every flavor bean. It says cinnamon and grass. Mmm, that is like chewing on a big red piece of gum right there. Oh man, man, that is good. Now I'm really curious what the dual layer, the second layer, um, how it smells like grass smell, you know, I feel like grass would be a good one. Soap is probably gonna be clean. Dirt is gonna be like earthy pepper. Um, it's gonna be peppery. <laughs> but I'm just curious, like how it's gonna meld with like pepper and green apple or grass and cinnamon. Like how are they gonna meld once the layers meet and they start burning? That's what I'm really curious about. I'm gonna have to let you know, um, uh, once I start burning these, I'll, I'll post something on Instagram as they burn and I'll let you know what kind of uh, scent profiles we're getting once we hit that second layer. Okay, next up we have Chocolate Frog. What are these? They're not really frogs, are they? He was starting to feel that nothing would surprise him. And of course that was Harry asking. Whether you eat the frog or collect the cards, chocolate frogs are a fun treat both in the muggle world and the wizarding world. A pure blend of rich milk chocolate awaits you. I'm about about it. I am about it about it. I love chocolate scented candles. Oh wow, that smells just like milk chocolate. In fact, since we're opening the chocolate frog candle, let's open the chocolate, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Okay, so, rewind. Okay, we just did the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Bean. Let's do a Birdie Bots blind test, okay? I am going to pick one, I'm not even looking. Okay. This is the one I'm eating. Okay, it looks like it's greenish with a little red. Let's see what I got. So this one is, okay, it's watermelon. Okay, so I got the watermelon. Mm. Okay, let's do one more and see if I can get something a little, a little nasty. Okay, this one. Okay, that's a nasty one. That's either dirt or sausage, but I think it's dirt. Oh, it is dirt. Oh. 
it's the bottom part of blueberry and dirt. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we did the chocolate frog. It smells just like milk chocolate. Let's go for the chocolate frog candy. And let's see which famous wizard we got. We got Godric Gryffindor. Now, as Ron would say about Dumbledore, I got about, I got about 10 of him myself. And here's our little chocolate frog. It is the milk chocolate with rice crispy. So you smell that. Got that beautiful milk chocolate. Smell that beautiful milk chocolate. I mean, it is identical. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Man, that chocolate made my mouth water. Okay, the card for Draco. It says, you'll soon find out some wizarding families are much better than others, Potter. You don't want to go making friends with the wrong sort. I can help you there. That's, of course, Draco Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. Is there any character more illustrative of the Slytherin house than Draco? He is the embodiment of cunning, pride, and shrewdness. To represent Draco, we created a blend of charred embers, amber, oak, and sage. Okay. Let's see how Draco smells. Ooh. Oh, that is a really interesting, um, earthy kind of scent. Wow. This kind of, uh, you know, you see charred embers, you see oak, you see sage as the scent profiles here, and your mind kind of thinks of early morning when you go camping, you know what I mean? You got like that fresh uh, breeze coming in and it's kind of mixing those scents together. Oh, that is a gorgeous scent. And again, not one I would typically like, When I, if I see that scent profile, I typically wouldn't buy it as a a la carte candle. You know, I like my um, fruity scents. I like my pastry and coffee scents. Um, so that's what's great about these boxes. You kind of get a blend of everything. And, you know, as I get older, my uh, preferences are starting to develop differently. And I mean, this is one I would really go for. I really like this. This is a great combination. I really like that one a lot. Okay, third package. Okay, so move some of these out, move these in. Okay, so we have our last box of the candles that are coming with this collection. It are, they, it are, they are the character scents, okay? So we already had Draco, now we have Ron, Hermione, and Neville. So let's go with Ron first, okay? So we have Ron here, you have a bright orange and red sunsetty kind of color for the label, which signifies his red hair. So Ron, she pointed at the last and youngest of her sons. He was tall, thin, and gangling, with freckles, big hands, and feet, and a long nose. Ron is such an endearing character. He's strong, loyal, and always seems to be hungry. Kind of describes me. Maybe not too strong. Let's see. Nope, not too strong. He's also a champion of wizard's chess. Inspired by his complexities, we have a blend of patchouli, ebony wood, wild grasses, amber, and orange. Okay, let's see which scent profiles I pick up. So the first thing I'm getting is very citrusy. And obviously that's coming from the orange. Maybe a little bit from the patchouli. Man, that is good. This one is very citrusy and I love that. I feel like if this was a smoothie, this would be high in vitamin C. Like this is 
Oh, that's delicious. I really like that. And Ron is my Hogwarts crush, so I'm glad I really enjoyed that one. Next up, we will go Hermione. There's Hermione. She had a bossy sort of voice, lots of bushy brown hair, and rather large front teeth. Are you sure that's a real spell? Said the girl. Well, it's not a very good one. Hermione Granger is a lovely muggle whose strong demeanor grows on you over time. Her bossiness morphs into a loyalty like no other. Hermione's feminine strength is here with a blend of cactus blossom, citrus, oak, musk, and sandalwood. Okay, we have another citrus kind of scent. I love sandalwood. Let's see what we get. Okay, so I'm not, I was kind of expecting to get a big punch of citrus or maybe sandalwood. Sandalwood's such a huge scent. Like it's just a strong one. But I'm not really getting either of those strong, at least for me. I'm getting the musk. This is a very interesting one. Now Cameron is really good with picking up the candle scents like immediately, like a lot better than me. I'm one of those ones that, you know me, I I sit there and like to delve deep into these candles. Cameron could go, oh yeah, I picked this, this, and this. So I'm kind of jealous of him, jealous of him on this, but I'm finding it hard to distinguish what I'm getting here. I'm, I'm this is an interesting one. It's good. It's a very good scent. Don't get me wrong on that, but it's hard for me to pick up like a distinct, strong um, note. Oh, that's a, it's good though. This is one that I feel like I say this all the time in every video. I say I feel like this is one that once it burns, the scent will become more prolific, and I will be able to distinguish different scents. Okay, last one. We have Neville, okay? The round-faced boy came in. He looked tearful. Sorry, but have you seen a toad at all? He welled. I've lost him. He keeps getting away from me. In the beginning of the story, Neville Longbottom is weak, meek, and timid. His homesickness is endearing to all. As the tale nears its end, he grows into a brave man who exhibits true courage. With an affinity for herbology, here's an alluring blend of herbs, pine, aspen, and amber. Okay, so I feel like it's gonna be a very woodsy, earthy, um, herbal. Ooh, yes it is. Oh man. Oh, that is good, that is fresh. It's got a very fresh scent. Oh, man. Okay, so I feel like I just walked into the herb herbology greenhouse right now because I'm getting a huge blend of different uh, fresh uh, forest notes and herb notes and just everything. Like, that is really good. I really like that. And a little bit, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of maybe a little bit of soil. Again, this might be in my head because I'm thinking of plants, so I'm thinking soil, I'm thinking uh, uh, rainfall kind of stuff, but a little part of me feels like I, I get a little bit little bit of soil. I'm not sure. Okay, so that those are the nine candles that you get when you buy this collection, but because I bought early, I got something special. Uh, anyone who bought, I think it was the first, either the first day or the first weekend, um, got the special surprise limited edition so let's see what we got here the candle that came in here is sunshine daisy 
Butter Mellow. Now, if you remember from the books or the movies, this is the first spell that Ron Weasley casts to kind of try and impress Ron. Um, and this is when Hermione in, in, enters the, the scene and kind of interrupts it. The spell is given to Ron by his brothers, Fred and George, and the goal is to turn his rat scabbers yellow. So when I see the title of this candle, it's sunshine, so I'm thinking bright and sunny, daisy, I'm kind of thinking floral, and then butter, I'm thinking real buttery. So I'm not sure what to expect here, but let's see. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not getting butter. I am getting semi-floral and something, I wanna say something sour. Kinda like a dandelion. Is it dandelion? There are those yellow flowers where um, they, they're like really long. I don't know if they're nationwide or I don't even know what kind of flowers they are, but they're, they grow in my backyard and they're they're these really tall yellow flowers and the green stem of it, you can chew on it, it's like super sour. And this kind of reminds me of that smell. So I'm thinking it's, it's a flowery floral aroma, but I'm not sure what the notes are specifically, but it is a really good one. I really like this. Okay, so those are the nine plus bonus one candle that come this collection. Again, the Sunshine Daisy Buttermellow. That does not come in this collection. This was a special treat for those who bought early or you know that first weekend that it was released, um, but it might be in the store as a side along single candle. I'm not sure. Um, you're gonna have to check out the website for yourself and see and make sure you check out and use Ohana 15 for 15% off your purchase Okay, so that box did not just have one special candle It also had this note in it and it says I had extra space to fill hashtag sorry not sorry Nicole always finds a way to spoil me and so in this I have three mini tins and they are the, a spoonful of sugar from the last experience box, the Mary Poppins, and this is the Lime Cordial. This is the one I got in my box. Oh man, I love that. It smells like lime zest. I mean, it's just, it's gorgeous. We have strawberry. Ooh, that is a big punch in the face of strawberry. That is good. And the last one we have is rum punch. This is the one I was really excited to, to try. Uh, when I saw other unboxings, I saw everyone got a different one. I got the lime cordial. I really wanted to see what the rum punch was about. And I am not disappointed. Oh, that smells like a summer cocktail, and I think I've got some rum over there and some juice, and after I'm done here, I'm going to be making myself a Mai Tai. So, yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Nicole, for putting this in my head. Mm. Oh, man, that's good. Okay, so, wow, what an amazing collection i am so happy with this collection collection three i'm super excited to see what collection four is going to be i feel like it's going to be the sorting of the you know into the houses and stuff like that um we've already seen mcgonagall as a candle we've seen haggard we've seen dumbledore so i'm kind of thinking we're going to see maybe meet um snape um uh, flitwick um professor sprout maybe you know maybe some feast kind of uh, thing, maybe pumpkin juice and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking out loud right now. I'm really excited to see what Collection 4 is. I'm sure it's going to be coming pretty soon. You know, she's been pretty on track with keeping these on a good, um, good release rotation. So I'm really excited for that. So um, thank you so much, Nicole. You guys are killing this series. Like, I am so impressed with everything. And the sweet treats that you added are just proof positive of the creativity and detail you guys like to put into these boxes. So thank you so much 
for taking the time and effort and putting that extra magic into these boxes. It means the world to all of us. So thank you so much for that. Man, this is gonna be my longest video ever. <laughs> If you're still with me, thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. If you did like this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Circa, Incantatus, Lux Loom in general, they deserve a big thumbs up. So you make sure you give this big uh, this video a big thumbs up. Uh, and leave a comment, let me know, are you going with these collections? Are you going single candle, full collection? Are you interested in the Harry Potter series at all? I'm really interested to know what your thoughts are so far. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Join the Ohana. We do a lot of fun stuff on this channel from unboxings to candles to reviews, uh, pins and wishables and everything under the rainbow, you know, under that Disney Harry Potter rainbow. Speaking of which, look at my new shirt. It says Ohana means family with a stitch on it. I had to wear it. I had to wear it. Okay, uh, also make sure you hit that bell notification so you can be notified when I upload more magical content just like this, okay? Have a great weekend. Um, I will see you on Monday with another video. I promise I will have one on Monday. I know I've been kind of, kind of bad at uploading lately. Work has just been killing me, but you know what? I'm gonna make more of an effort to be more consistent because I wanna make sure I'm bringing smiles to my Ohana, okay? So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you next time. But until then, always, always, always remember that we are Ohana and Ohana means family. Bye.